Let's look at strumming chords on the guitar. The first thing we want to think about is the right hand. In the right hand we want to hold our pick gently but firmly. And then when we strum, we want to have a gentle motion, kind of like petting a dog or a cat, not really uh, going crazy with, our, with the, the petting, but just a kind of gentle petting type of feeling if you pet a cat. If you pet its head, you wouldn't kind of uh, rub it crazily, but just gently petting it. And so we want to go th through the strings and brush the strings with our pick, not kind of attack the strings too, too much because that can break the strings. It can also kind of hurt our fingers a little bit. So we want to be gentle about the strumming and it will also create a much nicer sound. So let's try this with a D chord. We're going to just to go for the fourth string and strum down with the pick gently and it will sound like this. Why don't you find the D chord, put your fingers down, place your thumb behind the neck and then find the fourth string here with your pick and then gently brush all the strings. Let's try it together. Here we go. Let's strum. Good work. Let's try another chord, the G chord. For this one, let's take our two fingers, one on the third fret of the second string, one on the third fret of the first string, and then we'll also find with our pick in our right hand the fourth string, and then gently brush four strings down like this. Let's try that again. Let's find our spot here with the G and then here on the fourth string with our pick and let's strum down. Great work. Now let's try some down and up strums. For this we'll need to have a relaxed wrist. We want it to, we, if we have a tight wrist it's going to be tough to get through the strings and it's also going to change our rhythm. So let's look at the D chord again, and we're going to try to isolate the four strings here. So when we strum down, we'll let the wrist go down this way, and then when we strum up, the wrist will move up this way. And it, the strumming really comes from the wrist. So try to keep a very loose wrist when you're practicing this. Here goes, ready? Strum down, strum up, strum down, strum up. Okay, let's try it again. Strum down, strum up, strum down, strum up. Now let's try to change to a different chord. Let's go back to that G chord. So find your pointer finger on the second string, third fret, and your second finger on the first string third fret, and we'll strum th four strings down, so starting on the D string. Let's strum down, and then with your wrist, strum up, very gently. Let's strum again, down, and then up. That's great. Once you get good, you can try, try strumming a little bit faster. Let's give it a try here. Down, up.